What's, What's up, Crusaders? My name is Adi. And my name is Kirill. And you're watching HC News. News. Last week was our Arts Fest Spirit Week. Thank you to those who participated in the Spirit Week. Here are some photos. April 5th will be our Lenten Penitential Service. April 6th is an early dismissal due to parent-teacher interviews. On April 14th, there will be an assembly for the Stations of the Cross. There will be no school on April 15th and April 18th because of Good Friday and Easter Monday. Remember to go to Mass. Holy Cross, Pactula. Hey Crusaders, our annual Multicultural Day is coming up on April 22nd. As in previous years, you can buy a multicultural lunch. All food must be prepaid, and sales will run from April 7th to April 13th. Watch for announcements and posters about the combos and costs. You will need to choose your combo, and when you pay, you will not be able to change it. Anyone interested in knitting and crochet? There will be a craft club in room 221 after school on Tuesday from 3 to 4. Grade 9s, 10s, and 11s, the GLAs are in the process of reviewing your course choices. If you have had a change of heart or realized you need to take a different course that, than something you have selected, you will need to see your GLA and talk to them in person. You will have from April 4 to April 19th to discuss any course changes with your GLA. After April 19th, there will be no course changes made. You will have to wait until August if there is room in your desired class. Then a change may be ac accommodated. If you don't want to make any changes to your courses, then you do not need to see your GLA. Also, grade eights, Mrs. DeSantis will be visiting advisory classes over the next two classes to teach you how to enter course selection into MyEd. Make sure that you are able to access your MyEd account. The spring marketplace is coming up. A group from the Entrepreneurship 10 class will be selling spring cake pops. They will be taking pre-sales on April 7th and will be available for pickup on May 4th. The Blooming Biscuits Entrepreneurship 10 group will be selling Mother's Day cookies. Pre-sales will, will be taking place on April 5th. If students pre-order, they can attach a customizable tag to their cookie order. Don't forget to follow Crusader Connect, Crusader Music, Athletics underscore HC, HE Student Leadership, and HE Campus Ministry. And now, over to Sam and Juliana for Theology Minutes. That's all for now. Bye, Bye Holy Cross! Cross. Salutations, our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Juliana. And my name is Sam. And, and this, this is Theology Minute. Hey, Sam, look, we're wearing matching colors today. Very good taste, Juliana. Purple is not only good in fashion sense, it is also the color of Lent. But why is it purple anyways? There are many symbolisms behind the co color purple. One of its meanings is repentance our call to turn away from sin and turn back to God. Exactly! We have a God who loves us so much that He is willing to forgive any of our offenses, no matter how serious, as long as we are truly sorry for them. When Jesus was shamed for eating with tax collectors, He said, Those who are well have no need for a doctor, but the sick do. I came not for the righteous, but for sinners. Right! This sentiment is further shown in the parable of the prodigal son and Jesus' radical love towards the woman caught in adultery. Pope Francis often echoes a famous saying that the church is not a museum of saints, but a hospital for sinners, and frequently uses the field hospital imagery to portray the church. That's such a beautiful imagery. The reason we are talking about repentance and mercy today is because tomorrow we will be celebrating the sacrament of confession for the whole school. Jesus knows that receiving God's forgiveness and mercy is so important for spiritual well-being that he made it one of the sacraments in the church. Telling your sins to the priest may seem scary and embarrassing, but when we realize that he is not there to condemn us or judge us, but is there to love us and to extend us to Christ's authority to forgive sins, then there's really nothing to be scared over. In order to make a good confession, we should examine our conscience, be truly sorry for the sins we have committed, and just trust that God can and will always forgive us. We hope that you will all make a beautiful confession tomorrow so that we can all be ready to enter into Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. And that wraps up our episode for today. Just a friendly reminder that God loves you. See you, friends. Bye. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine.
Nein, es war... <lacht>